President Trump is himself. He's fighting for you. He's fighting to protect you and your family. Donald Trump nominated Kristi Noem to lead the aggressive immigration agenda he campaigned on. If confirmed by the Senate, Noem will leave her post as South Dakota governor for secretary of the Department of Homeland Security. Noam has no experience working in DHS or law enforcement. A farmer and rancher, she worked several family businesses before serving in South Dakota's House of Representatives for four years. In 2010, she became the state's lone representative in Congress and served for four terms. Noam then went on to become South Dakota's first female governor in 2018 and won a second term in 2022. She first made national headlines during the COVID-19 pandemic, resisting business restrictions and refusing to issue mask mandates. If we had mandated the businesses had to be closed, would that have made a difference? And I would argue that it wouldn't have. In 2022, she signed a state law banning transgender girls and women from competing in sports that match their identity at state accredited schools, including colleges. That same year, she signed an executive order limiting critical race theory in South Dakota K-12 schools. How did Noam clinch a job she has virtually no background in? The answer lies in the Trump factor. Not only do Noam and Trump have a good relationship, but she also has the support of key allies in Corey Lewandowski, Trump's first campaign manager, and Tom Homan, Trump's border czar. She was also a regular face on Trump's campaign trail. Let's put him back in the White House so we can be on offense. One of the few women in his orbit to frequent rally stages and TV airwaves to support him. We desperately need Donald Trump back in the White House. And as others GOP candidates entered the presidential primary, she opted to endorse Trump. He has my full and complete endorsement. Noam was also once considered a front runner in Trump's Veep stakes. But her political ambitions were shrouded in controversy, and that reportedly made Trump wary. Reports resurfaced in September 2023 that Noam and Lewandowski had been having an affair for years. Noam had already denied the allegation back in 2021. And in April, an early copy of Noam's memoir, No Going Back, made negative headlines for an anecdote about shooting her 14-month-old puppy over aggressive behavior, and for falsely claiming she once met with North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un while in Congress. As soon as it was brought to my attention, uh, we went forward and have made some edits. So what can we expect from Christy Nome as DHS secretary? DHS is a massive agency that oversees not only immigration enforcement, but also the Secret Service, the Transportation Security Administration, and FEMA, among other departments. Some insiders speculate Nome's nomination and lack of immigration experience actually signals that Trump confidants Tom Homan and Stephen Miller will control border policy from the White House, leaving Nome to focus on the department's other branches. Regardless, we know she shares Trump aggressive approach to immigration. These countries are infiltrating us to destroy us. She made headlines starting in 2021 for deploying South Dakota National Guard troops at least five times in an attempt to beef up security at the U.S.-Mexico border. And in 2021, she was hesitant to accept Afghan refugees in South Dakota. She also supported Trump's 2017 Muslim ban while in Congress. Even though we're not sure what Noam's role as head of DHS will look like, we do know she's expected to be loyal to Trump.